What's up guys, it's Angel and it is with great pleasure that I get to give you a first look of the brand new nail powders from Twinkle Tea. This is the Circus Collection consisting of two multi-chrome powders and one mirror chrome powder. All three powders, including a bundle to buy all three at once and save a little bit of cash, are linked down below. Rather than me talk about them, how about I just show you how to use them? Okay, let's rub some things into our nails. These powders are meant to be used with gel polish, which I know is so scary and so terrifying to most of you. I actually just recently started dabbling with gel polish maybe a couple months ago to be able to use these powders to their fullest potential. And I find if I use a peel off base coat, I can just peel my gel nails off and then you don't have that scary removal process. Here I'm using Oont peel off base coat or is it UNT? I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is the first time I tried it and it actually worked pretty great. And the nail powders seem to show us their most true deep down selves when used over black polish. Here I'm using my favorite one coat black polish from Bundle Monster, straight up black. And when mixing regular polish with gel polish, you really have to let that regular polish dry, otherwise it'll bubble up under the gel polish. Once that black polish is extra crispy and extra dry, you can apply your gel top coat. This is a one-step gel, also from Bundle Monster. Then cure under your gel lamp, and everybody look at Gumby, the camera whore, making his third appearance now in my videos. Meet Acrobat, the new love of my life. I'm starting with my favorite powder. There, I said it, this one's my favorite. To apply the powder, you dip the silicone applicator into the magic pot. Because let's face it, this is pure magic what is happening right now. The silicone applicator is also from Twinkle Tea. And keep in mind, I am applying way, 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 way too much powder to my nail right now. I got a little excited. You really only need the teeniest, tiniest amount. And if this is your first time watching nail powder application, you may be asking yourself, is it really that easy? And the answer is, yes, it really is that easy. All you do is buff and rub it in. So after I got my nail completely covered with my initial buffing, I found flipping the silicone applicator around and using the flat chisel side to do the final buffing really brought out that chrome shine. And are you guys even alive right now? Because I feel like I need to double check because when I was applying this, I'm pretty sure I died. This was so beautiful, I just died. Dramatic much? I don't care, I'm obsessed with these. This could be the greatest nail thing I've ever put on my nails. That is really poetic. After you come back to life, you wanna take a fluffy brush and buff off that excess powder off your skin because otherwise it's gonna stick to your top coat brush and then it's just gonna not look as nice. Then you add your final coat of gel top coat and cure. And then I found the best way to remove that powder from your skin once your nails are all cured is to just wash your hands. It's really that easy. And here's Acrobat in its final amazing form. It shifts from like a pink copper to orange to green to even a little bit of blue on the far edges. And it is just so beautiful. I'm crying again, I can't help it. We're just gonna go ahead and move on. This beauty is Trapeze, and she's equally as lovely. This time I'm skipping the base color application because you already saw it, it's boring, you don't need to see it again. Trapeze applies just as easily and just as nicely as Acrobat did. And doesn't this look like liquid metal? If you ever found yourself thinking, oh my god, my life would be so complete if I could only get emerald teal liquid metal on my nails. I think you found it. Just keep buffing, just keep buffing. And once you're done buffing, just apply that gel top coat and cure. I forgot to film the curing part, so just pretend. And now you've met Trapeze, a gorgeous emerald teal that shifts to a little bit of blue, and then violet, and then on the far edges you see just a hint of orange. I actually thought this one was gonna be my fave. Don't get me wrong, it's beautiful. But Acrobat, I still love you more. And moving on to the last one. This is House of Mirrors, a mirror chrome pigment powder. And as you can see, it's a little bit of a different texture than the previous two. It's more of a flake. Even though it's a different texture, you still apply it the same. And you may be seeing something here. You may be like, why do I see a little bit of black peeking through? 
Hmm, I think that's just because of the texture and also bear in mind that I'm filming with a macro lens so it sees more than your naked little eyeballs do in real life. So I decided to get a little crazy with this mirror pigment powder and after I applied my first coat, added my gel top coat, cured, oh my goodness, wait for it, I applied a second coat. Here is a second coat application and as you can see it gets brighter and it gets more silver and you see less of that black polish. And here's a comparison on the left side is one coat and on the right side is two coats and as you can see up close the one coat kind of gives more of a mirror like reflection but from a distance, oh my god Bette Midler just got brought into this, from a distance I think the two coats produces more of an accurate mirror reflection of objects. I hope that makes sense. And finally, I'm applying my last layer of gel top coat and I cured it. And again, I forgot to film that part, so just imagine it. And here are the finished mirror chrome nails. And I'm always amazed at how detailed reflections are in your nails when you put this mirror pigment powder on. It's so cool. If you haven't tried it, you gotta. And that completes my review of the Twinkle Tea Circus Nail Powder Collection. If it isn't super obvious by now, I totally love these powders and I recommend them. If you've ever bought a nail polish that you were really excited to try because it looked so multi-chrome in the bottle and then when you get it on your nail, you're like, ugh, this is only one color then these are for you. And don't be afraid of gel polish. If you pair it with a peel off base coat, you're good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed another edition of rubbing weird things into your nails. And don't forget you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at twy underscore star. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.